Honda, y'all be screaming my name. Nani, 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 nani. Hi everyone, my name is Sanani Denise. Welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a self-care routine on a budget. Cause um, I'm on a budget. <laughs> No expensive skincare routine, nothing like that. No getting my nails done. We're just going to have a good time. Um, I'm, I've been extremely stressed these past couple of weeks. And so I feel I need something to just be able to relax my mind. So that's what we're doing tonight. Please make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, y'all, so I don't normally take a shower at night, and I wouldn't even take a shower tonight in my self-care routine. However, after taking out my trash, cleaning up, I feel disgusting, and um, I just want to take a shower to cool off and clean myself off. Like, ugh, I feel so gross. So I'm gonna take a cold shower which a lot of people want to do, but that's that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I'll see y'all when I get out of the shower. self-care routine on a budget because I barely have any baby lotion left but you see I'm taking off the top that's how you do it when you're on a budget okay that is how you do it Thank you. 
Okay, so now that I feel all fresh faced and clean and not extremely hot anymore, the next thing I want to do is rewrite my affirmations. So right now I have affirmations on my mirror in my bathroom um, and I haven't changed them since I moved in here in February. <laughs> and so I want to change them out to say some different things. Well, some of them are going to say the same. Specifically one. Um, one of my affirmations is Bible verse, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. And I want to keep that one because that is one that I need a constant reminder of. Um, so right now, my affirmations, I have three Bible verses and two just like sayings. So I'm probably going to keep that, but I do want to rewrite them. I want to have new ones because I'm in a different place in my life. And right now I need different things. I need to say different things to myself <laughs> to remind myself that God's got my back and I can, I'm capable. I'm capable of doing things. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm going to work on now. Okay, so also I have these two sticky notes. This one says, Sanani, you are, Sanani, here's a reminder that you are the bomb.com and don't forget it. Have a great day. This was written to me by my roommate my senior year of college. And this one just says, have a good day. And it was given to me by my roommate my junior year. So I'm going to hang these up right above my keys. Just as a daily reminder that I am the bomb.com. And I am going to have an amazing day because my name is Sanani. I'm going to do is something I literally never do. However, if you don't know, now you know, I'm a real estate agent. I feel like I say that in every video. I work with Keller Williams. And I, in Keller Williams, there's this thing, it's called Bold. I'm not gonna go into like a lot of detail about this because this is not at all about real estate or <laughs> anything. However, I did go to the first class and the bold coach mentioned uh, the book, The One Thing. And he was talking about your purpose and your big why. Why are you doing the things that you're doing? And honestly, I've really been struggling with that, with my purpose. So when he was talking about this book, The One Thing and your purpose and all that fun jazz, I remembered I have the book, The One Thing, and I've had it for months and I've never opened it because I hate reading. So I went through and I found the chapter on purpose. I've heard that the whole book is fantastic. I'm gonna take some time and I'm gonna read this chapter, chapter 13, Live live with purpose and relax and 
see if I learn anything. <laughs> If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to come back, and I will see you guys soon. Good night.